All right, hey guys, what's up? This is Evan J with Rama Visual. Today we're gonna to be talking about a few tips on how to edit your faster video. Yep. I'm Evan J and on this channel, I'm gonna be documenting my journey on taking this passion of making videos from just a hobby and making it in, into a career. So if that's something that you wanna see, hit that subscribe button. All right, so I'm just gonna share a few tips, a few shortcuts in Adobe Premiere to help myself, to help me edit faster. I lear first learned about these, I think, on the F-Stopper channel, F-Stoppers on YouTube, and uh, I started doing it, and I did notice that my editing started going just a little bit faster. So let me, so let's dive right in, and I'll show you guys what the tips are and what the shortcuts are as well. All right, okay, one of the thing, one of the shortcuts that I do is that I put all of the controls that I use the most under my left hand, and I use the mouse on my right hand. I use just a regular keyboard and mouse. So like I said, I, I put all the things that I use the most under my, under one hand. If you're wondering who this lovely lady is, this is my mom. This is um, the cooking show that we make together. So if you wanna check it out, link is in the description. She makes healthy vegan stuff. So my zooming in and out is under the A and S. So zooming in is S, zooming out is A. I find that I do that a lot. Instead of going all the way over to the plus and minus uh, with your right hand, I just put it under A and S. Uh, D is delete, so like I, I select this clip and I wanna delete it, just press D and it's gone. C is the blade tool for cutting. I find that to be very useful. V is the, the viewing tool, the arrow, so I can click it, click and select stuff and move it, move it around. T is for title. I use a lot of title for this and for my church. So whenever I need a new title, bam, okay, I can start creating a new title. And then E is shuttle, shuttle forward, shuttle fast. So let's say that I just wanna scrub through some of this footage real quick. I just press E. Press E once, it's like that, twice, three times, it stops playing at four, and then it keeps on going faster and faster. Oh, and then Alt, I use my thumb to hold down Alt, and when you hold down Alt and click and drag, you can copy things. Probably wondering, how do you change the controls to do that? So you come up here to File, you go down to, you don't go to File, sorry, you go to Edit. There we go, go to edit, edit keyboard shortcut. You can see the digital version of, of the keyboard. So let's say that you wanna change the uh, the zoom, the zoom in and out. You come over here to this magnifying glass and just search zoom. You can see right here that it's A and S and plus and minus. If you wanna change it to something else, you click next to where those boxes are and just do like a Q or something. It usually says that Q is, re is, is assigned to something already. Do you wanna change it? And it's like, yes, I do. And then, and then once you change it, you just come over here to okay. And those changes have been made. So I hope that tip was able to help you guys. It's helped me a ton. I can't even explain, I can't even imagine, can't even tell you it will really speed up the way how you work by having all of the controls that you use the most. Those are the controls that I use the most. So having all of those controls under one hand and just being able to mouse over things with your right hand, it just really, it's, it just, it really does speed it up. It at least cuts your editing time in half, especially if you stay focused. My problem is having my internet open on this window and me editing on this window. That's always, that's not a good combination. So, so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like on it, smash it, hit it, devour it, whatever you guys wanna do to do it, go for it. What? Anyway, actually I don't have an outro. What am I talking about? What am I talking about rolling, rolling the outro? I don't have an outro. Mason, Mason jars. I should probably drink the rest of this. I try to tell myself that I can't leave any water in here when I go to bed. So before I go to bed, even if there's this much, if there's this much water or if there's this much water, I don't want it, I try not to have it be empty when I go to bed. So yeah. All right, boom.